Um, what was I saying? My understanding of toxic masculinity is behavioral patterns or what men do um, that encourages them to suppress the emotions mm. and be aggressive. I believe a lot of how you brought up and what happens at home kind of impacts the way we kind of react as human beings, especially as men. Because it's a culture of being of being aggressive. Men are men men are brought up to be the aggressive to Strong. take the aggressive approach. Also I think I think social media and the world the world we're exposed to mm. Mm. you know has a major impact. Mm. From generation to generation it's what we've 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 grown up with and in some way people have digested and accepted it as the best way of expressing your masculinity. We feel as young people, we can't address our elders mm. with certain topics. Mm. And sometimes we, we kind of need to, to, to actually speak out we do. with the elders and say, what you're saying, what you're doing is not okay. Mm. So the conversation you want to have is, what kind of man do you want to be? Mm. With the sons, firstly, it's okay mm. to cry. It starts from him being a bully in the class to him being a bully to his neighbor mm. to him lifting his hand mm. at home. Mm. Entitlement as well. People feel entitled to other people. We are individuals. You're you, I'm me. Us as men in general, we should be having platforms to deal with the cause. Because I feel like a woman and a child, they can Mm -hmm. They could have marches and walks and talks and whatever, as much as they like, mm -hmm. to raise awareness. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to change anything if us as men don't, don't have the conversation. Mm -hmm.